Boy! Give it to him, Boy! Six tomahawks got an awful nick in it. Got away, didn't it? Yeah, but a lot of them didn't. Much obliged for saving my scalp. Calculating Mrs. Crockett might have a kiss for you when we get home. Just don't take advantage of it. Don't call the victory around me, Major. Their casualties were enormous compared to ours. We captured three of their chiefs, and they're anxious to discuss terms for a peace. Peace? Thunderation, Norton. How can you talk about peace? The Red Stick and most of his band still on the loose. We'll have him in short order, sir. You know, sometimes I wonder why they give you them hairbrushes. Catch up the Red Stick, that to be like trying to run down a fox or a briar patch. Why, well, there's nothing between here and the Gulf of Mexico to stop him. Excuse me, General. Well, what do you want? Oh, nothing much. Dropped in to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where do you think you're going? Home? You're going after Red Stick with the rest of my command. This war isn't over yet. I ain't quitting the war. Me and my neighbors will be back directly. You see, General, we only volunteered for 60 days, and that's long since up. Catching Red Stick's liable to take up the rest of the year. We got to see our families just took care of before we start out on anything like that. Well, Major. Desertion is a serious crime in the Army, Crockett. We ain't quitting the war. I told you we was coming back. You're confined to this camp. That's an order. My missus would worry about me. Sorry, General. If he's permitted to leave, it'll destroy the discipline of the whole camp. He's attached to your command, Major. Then I'm going to stop him.
sure got his back up, ain't he? I'm warning you, Crockett. Turn back. Now, Major, you know we're going home. Prepare to fire. Oh, careful, don't burn yourself. <laughs> Bring us some bar meat back when you come, Davy. Sure. Anything you want, Major? The famous bunch of volunteers I ever saw. When they volunteer to fight, they fight. When they volunteer to go home, they go home. Off through the woods, we're a marching along. Making up yarns and hey, singing a possum, song. Possum, it's possum, a new possum, fight, possum, a right possum. and a wrong. We're ringing and Oh, Davy, you're back. Christ is strong. Oh, Davy, Davy Crockett, the man Whee! who don't know fear. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Well. Reckon now as good a time as any to collect what I got coming. Joe G. Russell, what happened to you while you've been gone? Well, Davy allowed us how I had a kiss coming for saving his life. He sure did. Well, in that case. You ain't never gonna get a woman that way. Reckon I gotta learn you how. Davy. Hmm? Missed you an awful lot. Missed you too. The young'uns like to pester me to death. It wasn't a morning since you went away, they haven't said maybe Paul will be home today. Oh, but now thank the good Lord you're home for good. Well, not exactly. The war ain't quite over yet. You going back? Well, not for a few days. I ain't going back till I get in a supply of meat for you and the young'uns this winter. You going to be gone all winter? Well, I hope not. But I don't know how long it's going to be. Oh, Davy. Now, don't take on. I had enough trouble with the Army over me coming home. My Major and I didn't see quite eye to eye on it. But I figured I was right. And you know me. When I'm sure I'm right, I go ahead. Mm, nothing could be more right than this. Headed back to war from the old home place. The red stick was leading the merry chase. Fighting and burning at the devil's pace. South through the swamps on the floor of the trace. Davy, Davy Crockett, tracking the Redskins down. Oh, who goes there? Just us, me and Davy. Well, welcome back. How the devil did you find us well down here? You left a tall but good trail. Army gear, lame horses, sick men all the way. Yeah, that's us all right. I reckon we'd better report to the general. General Jackson ain't here. He's done been called in New Orleans. Well, then who's in command? Major Norton. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have come back. Well, come on, let's get it over with. I have to admit, I'm glad to see you, Crockett. You too, Russell. I'm at my wit's end. Most of my men are down with swamp fever. I'm afraid I've got a touch of it, too. Yeah, you do look a little peaked, Major. What about Red Stick? Still chasing him? It's a question of who's chasing who. Every patrol I've sent out has failed to come back. He's outsmarted us at every turn. Red Stick's quite some fighting man. He can't have many warriors left. If we could just locate them, but they can hide forever in this infernal swamp. 
Reckon we can help this here army out, Russell? Looks like somebody's got to. You fellas had a hold from dirty end of stick long enough. Me and Russell will rest it up a mite. It's only fair we take a cut at it. No, no. That Indian has cost us enough lives already. I refuse to let you two go out alone. Looks like we'll have to start disobeying orders again. scared of snakes and gators than I am of engines. Two days old, maybe more. Moccasins just about wore out. Heading around the lake. Suppose we've got both sides meet at the other end. If you see any fresh sign, whistle like a thrush. Like a Tennessee thrush. <laughs> Thank you. 